Okay, and now to start building the base, let's place a triangle foundation and square foundations around it. Now choose one square where you want your entrance to be and place a wooden doorway. It has to be wood because you will be breaking it later. And now place a wooden ceiling as well. And now when you have done that, this is going to be our airlock. So put a wooden door in here and place a stone wall frame here and make this double door swing outwards. I'm like that. And this creates an airlock. And now we can just wall in the rest of the footprint with stone walls. And close it in with a uh, stone ceiling. Now we can place our tool cupboard and I would recommend placing it on the left side. Um, like on the side where your door is because if you place it on this side and open the door if so, somebody would be camping you, they could break the tool cupboard, place the bag inside and spawn inside and yeah, that wouldn't be good. So I recommend placing it on the side further from the door. Okay, now to build the loot rooms, um, on this side place a half wall, a half height floor on top and this makes you a makeshift shelf or boxes. On this side where you have your tool cupboard, um, go outside, place a twig triangle here, twig half wall and a twig floor on top and just go inside and connect this triangle right here. Upgrade it to stone and yeah, uh, we have another shelf here. Now you can put wall frames and after placing deployables you can place the doors and remove this twig outside and yeah our starter is finished now if you want to see how i placed these deployables i'm gonna do like a how to in the back of this video so scroll to the back and you should see a section named phase one deployables and in there you can see how i place all of these boxes right here but yeah now we can move on to phase two now for phase two, we're gonna be breaking this, um, these wooden parts here. So just pick up these deployables, get yourself a machete and break this uh, doorway and the ceiling. I'm just gonna do it like that. Put in stone wall here, pick up this wooden door and this sleeping bag. Place this half height floor here and one floor here and remove this one and this is going to be your jump up to the second floor now close it in with walls but you can place these walls normally like you have to look down when placing them so just look down and it should clip to the top of the wall right here same with this one look down you see it turns blue like that same here. The wall frame and a ceiling on and close it in with a metal door. Now it would be nice if you had a garage door because if you place a normal door here you can't jump. So if you don't have a garage door just leave it open like this. like that. I'm gonna pick up some of the deployables just to um, upgrade the base. So from this point I'm gonna start upgrading the base to its final stage just to save time but you don't have to do it like in one go. Um, you can upgrade it to metal and then um, high quality metal if needed but the first thing I would recommend upgrading is the tool cover room to either metal or high quality metal and the ceiling to high quality so let's do that real quick and yeah as you progress just upgrade the whole core to high quality metal and i'm gonna do it right now now to place deployables um here 
upgrade this uh, floor to metal and you can place your level 1, level 2 or level 3 workbench here. If you want to place these shotgun traps, go under this floor and place them like this. Now let's start honeycombing the base and building the second floor. Okay, and now when you have built the base to this stage, let's honeycomb it and build the second floor. But before we do all of that, let's first of all build the entrance. So position yourself in front of your front door, place two triangle foundations, a full wall here, a half wall and a half height floor here, a stone wall frame, and a stone doorway here. Now yeah, just put your doors on. Here place a um, metal floor. On this square where your entrance is, place a metal window and that's where we're gonna be placing our vending machines. Now just honeycomb the base. Now to build the second floor, just wall in this footprint. Just like that. And leave these triangles open. Now upgrade your chute to metal. I'm gonna put a garage door here. And if you wanna place a um, triangle floor here for some boxes and go outside um, place a half hole here a half height floor and just connect this triangle to that grade to stone or metal and you can remove the twig just like that now place your wall frames these two triangles are going to be our loot room so place these two half height floors, like that. On this triangle you can basically put anything you want, but I recommend placing a battery here. So if you're gonna be placing a battery, put a metal ceiling on, put your battery, close it in with a stone window and a reinforced glass window. Now here we can build our jump up and you can use either furnaces or a half height floor, like that. Now we can close everything in with a metal ceiling. Now here, let's build a quick chute. So two stone walls and a stone ceiling on top and close it in with a metal door. Now, I highly recommend placing a shotgun trap here, just so no one goes deep on you. Now, to place the vending machines, um, come up to this window and push them as far forwards as possible. And then go left. Try to place it as close to the wall as possible. Just like that. And the second one, go next to it. And you should be able to place a door here. And yeah, all that's left now is just placing deployables. And if you want to see how I place them, just scroll back to the end of this video. Okay, now in this phase, let's real quick build the third floor. So it's nothing special, just wall in this footprint. Just like that. Upgrade this wall to metal and the ceiling to metal as well. Now, here can be our loot rooms. Now 
Now here we can build our jump up, upgrade this wall to metal, place a half wall and a floor on top. Place a wall frame and a garage door. Now let's close it in with a metal ceiling. Let's build our chute. So two stone walls, a stone ceiling and close it in with a metal door. Now let's bring this honeycomb up to the third floor. Ok, and before we build the wide gaps and external TCs, we have to first of all place these um, side pieces, I guess, because when we will build the wide gaps, we won't be able to build these parts, so we have to build them first. So upgrade them to metal and now they're actually gonna decay because they're not connected to the base. And to stop them from decaying just place this whole frame and upgrade it to metal as well. And do the same thing on these two triangles. So a twig square and two triangles like that. And upgrade them to metal and don't forget the wall frame. Just like that. Now we can start building our wide gaps. So place two twig triangles like that, a square, another triangle, then two squares, and one more triangle. It should look something like this. Now you can remove this twig with the triangle. Now build back with uh, five triangles. One, two, three, four, five. And on this fifth, or I should say sixth triangle, place two squares. And actually, they have to be raised. Upgrade them to metal. Now to build the gatehouse with the external TC, remove this twig. Place a square. Three triangles, and this is going to be our gatehouse. So upgrade these two triangle foundations to metal, and this one can be stone. Put windows, a doorway, and these two metal um, wall frames, and they have to be metal. And two metal wall frames here. This is going to connect the gatehouse with the um, white gap foundations. Now put ceiling by copying the foundations. So two um, triangle floors here have to be metal and this one can be stone. Now from the doorway put two triangle foundations, two square foundations and two triangles. This triangle is going to be your external tool cupboard. Ready to metal. Put two half holes here, and they have to be half holes, otherwise, um, the external TC is not going to be disconnectable. Upgrade them to metal. You can put a full wall here. Place your tool cupboard. Close it in with a reinforced glass window. Upgrade this triangle to stone. Open the stone too. Now to actually connect the gatehouse with the external tool cupboard, place this um, square floor frame, upgrade to metal, place these two triangle floor frames and another square, just like that. And you can remove the twig. And yeah, that's it. Now just repeat the same stuffs on the other two identical sides. Okay, and when you finish building your external TCs, we can start placing the compound walls. But before that, don't forget to place your metal barricades on the gatehouses.
Okay, and now we can start building the shooting floor. But first, let's honeycomb the base. So first of all, come to your entrance, place a triangle here, a window, a ceiling on top, and a doorway. And I recommend placing at least one um, armor door here. Place your reinforced glass window. And now let's start honeycombing. So place this triangle right here and build um, two floors high. And just like that. And now do the same thing on the other two sides. Now we can start placing the wall frames for our shooting floor. But first of all, let's place these metal triangles right here. Let's bring these wall frames like that. So on the raised foundations, place only two high um, wall frames and on the lower ones, place three like that so two wall frames and if I'm placing them too fast just remember you can always slow down the video And when you finish, you should have something looking like this. Now, on these higher wall frames, place um, metal squares. And these lower ones, place metal triangles. I know it's probably pretty confusing, but you can always load my base in, in Builder Sanctuary server and just mess around with it and check out how everything is built. But yeah, when you have done that, we can start placing these low walls towards um, our base. So these are gonna be like these breach peaks or however they are called. So place them on all of these lower um, triangle uh, floors. And now on these um, lower triangle floors, place two wall frames like this and do the same thing on all of them. Now we can start placing windows. I'm gonna first place them on these um, triangles just to make things easier to understand. Okay, and now here you have placed your raised uh, square foundations on these windows place your triangle roofs like that and these two floors these are going to be your pickups to the roof and on these raised triangles place two more windows like that so where you have placed your wall frames on these square foundations place a window and roof on top a triangle roof and on these triangle foundations place four windows like that and do the same thing all around so here we have our square foundations we're gonna be placing triangle roofs 
And these floors, you can place these um, floors on all of these. It's gonna, it's just gonna be easier to move around like that. So here we have raised triangles. So place two more windows. Now here we have squares. We're gonna be placing our roofs. this and here triangles so we're gonna be putting two more windows yeah if needed slow the video down and just follow my steps now we can just finish placing windows on these squares And half of the shooting floor is finished. Now we can build the core where your beds are going to be. Just position yourself where your shoot door is. And straight ahead, place a wall frame and another one. On the left, we can place a window. And this is going to be our entrance to the shooting floor. And now just wall in this footprint. Now this square right here is going to be our bedroom. On this triangle you can place whatever you want. You can either place a locker here or what I like to place here is another battery. So if you're gonna be placing a battery, upgrade this wall to metal and put a metal ceiling on. Place your battery. Here where you have your entrance to the shooting floor, you can put sheet metal doors. And I highly recommend putting a garage door here or even a armored door. And now close everything in with a metal ceiling. Okay, now let's build some wall frames for stability. So on this triangle right here, place two wall frames. On this triangle, you should be able to place only one wall frame. So it should be right here. Place a wall frame here and a sheet metal door just to section off your shooting floor. Same on this side, one wall frame and sheet metal door. So just sections it off. On this triangle, we can place two wall frames. On this one again, one wall frame, door, wall frame, door, and just do the same thing all around. Now we can close in the shooting floor with metal floors. And just always connect the square to this triangle, and there should be a gap between the square and the window. Um, if you place this floor like that, this would be wrong because raiders can easily peek into your shooting floor and kill you. So just remember, connect these squares to your triangles and not the windows. You don't need to place floors here and place two floors right here. Now again, two squares connected, connected to the triangle. So you should have gaps here triangles, two squares, triangle, two triangles. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay, and now let's finish building our jump ups to the roof. So come up here, place two triangle floors like this. Place two wall frames on these uh, floors like that and on one side you can place a sheet metal door and on the other side place a garage door. 
but make sure like the garage doors this thingy the roller is looking inwards this thing right here because if it's gonna be looking outwards you will not be able to um, place one thing later on so just make sure that it is looking inwards place one wall frame on top and place your triangle roofs just like that and now repeat the same steps on the other two so now if you place the garage door there place a sheet metal door here and a garage door here Now let's place these roofs right here and make sure to connect them to these um, windows, not the floor. So place a normal roof on this window and this window. Same here. And now we can build our like drone shop vending machine bunkers so if you want to build them here you have placed your garage door come up to this triangle right here upgrade it to armored and place a armored wall here too like that now from this side place your vending machine and these are reachable by drone and you can open them by placing a twig roof here. So place a twig roof, come up here and you can open them. Break this twig and it closes. Yeah, these are pretty cool and you can build in total three of them or even more if you want to. So same on this side, where you place your garage door, come up to this triangle right here, upgrade it to armor. Place a full wall, upgrade it to HQM as well, and place your vending machine. Like that. Same on the side. now you can place your turrets so I recommend placing the turret looking towards the vending machine not towards the wall but towards the vending machine so on this side right here should be able to place it like that and now you can place some compound turrets you could probably find some better place to put them but for now I just like to place a triangle floor here and a turret on top and let's real quick build our entrance so to build it get yourself a oil refinery and place the oil refinery with like this pipe right here looking towards the door so it's easier to jump in and jump out like that and here place your sheet metal double door place floors on top place a shop front here and so that no one gets up here place metal barricades Yeah, your base is basically finished 
And if you want to take it a step further, you can build this like a lookout tower. So come up to the middle triangle, the center of the base. Place uh, stone walls two stories high. Like that. Same here. Place wall from here. And a wall on top. Place these supports here. Basically where your armored wall is, just place them next to it. And you can actually place these sleeping bags on these ramps, which is pretty cool. And yeah, now the base is really finished. I highly recommend just building it in a um, building server and just putting some your own features into it maybe, just to make it a more unique base but yeah thank you for watching and till the next time peace